should be water themed. I'm Benny the Gill. What's your mouth for? Sam Evans. I'm Coach Roz Washington, and you are one strange looking kid. I've never seen lips like that on a white child, and one of your nipples is higher than the other. I bet you had to overcome a lot with those crooked nipples. Well, I know a thing or two about overcoming. When I was growing up, they said that black folks couldn't swim, but I had a dream that one day I would get to the promised land. So I swam my way and got my 40 acres in a pool. Coach Ross was an Olympian. That's right. I won this bronze damn Olympic medal in Beijing, China for individual synchronized swimming. I bet you didn't even know there was a such thing as individual synchronized swimming. Nod to me if I'm getting through to you. Nod to me. I'm going to say one thing to you, Sam Evans, and I'm only going to say it to you once. If you pee in my pool, I will kill you. to dunk those behinds in, because those donkey booties need to cool off. Now, I ain't no mind reader, Sue Sylvester, and I come from a very superstitious household where such things are not allowed, but I got a feeling that those Cheerios, like my Martin Dance moves, a little bit better than the most stale white bread routines you've been making them do. You know, Ross? The English language lacks the requisite words to express just how much I dislike you. And I'm on to you. Yeah, I've seen all about Eve. I know what you're planning. You're waiting for me to take maternity leave, and then you're gonna swoop in and try to steal my job. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Oh my God, hold up. Maternity leave? Are you pulling my leg? No, I am not. I am getting pregnant, and then I am having a baby. What? Who's vagina? Sue, you can't have no baby. You are old as a hill. You ain't gonna give birth to no child. You gonna give birth to a grandchild. You gonna get in them stair ups and you gonna push and push and a full grown adult gonna pop out with a briefcase and a job talking on a cell phone. And by the way, I don't need to steal your job, Sue Sylvester. You know why? Principal Diggins is gonna give it to me. He wouldn't. Oh, he would. You see, a long time ago, you won some trophies, and that was real impressive. I, however, am an Olympian. I won this bronze damn Olympic medal in Beijing, China. I had noodles with the president and a threesome with Michael Phelps. What you need to do is wake up and snare the menopause. You are done as a coach. And all the hormones in Thailand can't change the fact that you are done as a woman. What you need to do is start praying that you give birth to a child that likes to eat sand, because that's all that's coming out those old wrinkly boobs. I'm sorry. I, I don't think I understand what you just told me. I said I'm making swim coach Roz Washington co-coach of the Cheerios. How can you do this to me? I think I can answer that question. This Saturday, the Cheerios had regionals tournament. You were 15 minutes late. That's unacceptable. I had a doctor's appointment. Oh, I know. The doctor had to shine a flashlight in your JJ to get all the bats to fly out. I understand that keeping bats out of your wound is an important part of having a baby when you're older than God. But it is no way to win a national championship. Sue. The lovely and talented bronze medalist Roz Washington has a point. We need the money and sponsorships that only a national championship can bring to the school. And your condition is compromising your work. It's settled. My word is law. This will not stand. Oh, it's gonna stand. And you know what else is gonna stand? Your fully grown adult baby. When he pops out of your birth canal, before he hurries off to the high power law firm where he has just made partner. So take your Centrum Silver in your old ass and find a new dream. You wouldn't let him be on top. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing, it was a joke. So men hitting women is funny to you? Oh, please, we obviously don't think Beast was hit by anybody. I mean, look at her, she's a wall. Let me tell you something. I'm Coach Ross Washington. I'm an Olympic champion and I do not suffer fools, especially fools who think domestic violence is funny. I want your names. Shannon, write these names down as placeholders. Hat Rack, Asian Horror Movie, Little Oprah, Rojo Caliente, Salsa Caliente. 
You're on my list now, girls. You just watch what happens next. Black Sue, it's no secret I despise you. I spent the weekend sending your photo to ivory poachers who could make an absolute fortune selling your enormous white teeth on the black market. Yet it sounds like you and I finally have something to agree on. Look, I understand kids making jokes about things they find uncomfortable, like how there's a cheerleading coach at their school who's old as dirt and still trying to have a baby, who they know is gonna come out looking weird with rabies and wings, and it's gonna fly right out of your hat box and straight back into hell. But domestic violence? That's nothing to joke about. I couldn't agree with you more. Hey, hey, mind if we join you ladies? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, Shiner. William, your teenaged minions have taken this opportunity to start making jokes about violence against women. Are you serious? Wait a second, they think I got hit? I was at the gym hitting a speed bag, but my timing was off and it came back and clocked me. I can't believe any of my kids would make a joke about something that serious. Well, you better believe it, whatever your name is. I heard them with my own two ears. Yep, you got a problem on your hands, William. But not to worry. John Goodman, Black Sue, and Original Recipe Sue are gonna take care of it. Well, you stink of chlorine, Roz Washington, which means one of two things. Either you just returned from the peroxide factory, where you spent the afternoon having your hair helmet revarnished, or... You've given up trying to steal my Cheerios, and you're back in the pool where you belong. I gotta hand it to you, Sue. National championships for both the Glee Club and the Cheerios. That's quite an accomplishment for a pregnant woman who asked her so old she went to high school with Moses. Well, Roz, if you came here to find out once and for all who the celebrity father of my unborn child is, well, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for the graphic birth photos that grace the cover of the People magazine exclusive that hits newsstands in September. You and I are never gonna like each other, Sue Sylvester. But you and I, we got something in common. We both hate the fact that this school has an idiot for a principal. That's why I propose we join forces and take him down. Well, you think that over Sue Sylvester while you nurse your thousand-year-old vampire baby? You just be sure in the bottle feed because that baby's gonna use those sharp-ass teeth to bite holes in those saggy old boobs. Hmm. You wanted to see us, Coach? Yes. Come on in and have a seat. It is my understanding that I have inherited you as co-captains of the Cheerios. And by looking at the two of you right now, that makes me extremely suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Oh, I understand why Coach Sylvester's daughter Robin is here. Sue Sylvester is as old as the hill. So when she gave birth to her fully grown 16-year-old baby with Down syndrome, it was a miracle. And she wanted to bring her to school every day and show her off. You're the one that makes me suspicious, Fruity Fonzie. You ain't never done a cheerleading routine in your life, but somehow you get Sue Sylvester to make you co-captain of the Cheerios. And then three weeks later, out of nowhere, Sue Sylvester gets fired. That makes me real suspicious. That makes me think that you used your handsome, fruity voodoo powers and put a hex on her that caused her to bring a gun to school for no reason and get real clumsy, so she drops it twice and it goes off both times. That sounds like some dark-sided, fruity voodoo stuff to me. But that didn't really happen. I had nothing to do with it. How do you know? Were you there? No. Exactly. So here's the deal. If you want to stay on board as co-captain of the Cheerios, you're gonna have to take a blood oath and loyalty pledge. What? A blood oath? Is, is that even safe? Probably not. So we'll just take the oath. Repeat after me. I, Fruity Fonzie, and adult baby Robin. I, Fruity Fonzie, and, 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 and adult, adult baby, baby Robin, Robin. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear, swear. To never put a hex on Coach Roz Washington. To, to never put a hex on Coach Roz Washington. Washington. Causing her to bring a gun to school so she gets real clumsy and drops it and it goes off twice in a row. Causing to her to bring a gun to school gun so to she gets real clumsy, clumsy and drops it so it goes off twice in a row. So help me God. So, so help, help me God. God. You are free to go. 